Hi, welcome to the Huffy Doodle YouTube channel. My name is Lauren and I have an adorable little interactive Valentine's Day card to share with you. Here is a look at all the supplies I'll be using from Huffy Doodle today. This is the Utterly Fabulous Stamps and Coordinating Dies. I've already stamped them in brown ink and die cut them out so I have them ready to color in our video. I'm using a sheet of this pink striped paper from the Wildflower 6x6 pattern paper pad. I have my dies ready to go, including the slider pop-up dies and lots of heart goodies like this stitched hearts dies set, as well as the Love is Everywhere stencil. I have this little embossing folder. It comes with the mini die cut machine and I also have my wild flowers enamel dots. I wanted to make sure I had very matchy matchy colors today and I have a sheet of the bubblegum blush colored cardstock. So let's set my supplies aside and we're going to get started on die cutting. So I'm going to be die cutting the slider pop-up dies with this Wildflowers pink pattern paper and my bubblegum blush colored cardstock. The front of my slider will be on the pattern paper and I'm going to use some of my Heffy Memo Tape to keep that die in place. And then I'm also going to cut out the sliding part of the pop-up dies out of this colored cardstock. Now I have a big shot switch so I can fit a whole sheet of paper in my die cut machine. So I'm just going to place this die in a corner of my cardstock um, so I don't have to completely cut out a rectangle. I could just run it through my die cut machine. But I have die cut them out and here are the two pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and fold on the score lines for the top part of my slider pop up. And then I also am going to trim off just a little bit off of this cardstock. There was a tiny little sliver of where I didn't quite line up the edge of the die to the edge of the cardstock, but that's no big deal. It honestly isn't going to show, so I don't even know why I did it, but I wanted it to line up with the edge of the die where you are supposed to cut the paper. So I wanted to add a little bit of fun and hearts to this colored cardstock. So I grabbed my Love is Everywhere stencil and I'm going to use that same memo tape I use for die cutting to keep my stencil in place on my cardstock. I have a magnetic mat so I'm just going to grab my magnets to keep my paper and stencil in place and we're going to do a little bit of ink blending with Distress Oxides. It's mostly going to be picked raspberry, but I did also grab seedless preserves just to go very lightly over the picked raspberry because I wanted to try and match that kind of purple pink color that I have on my pattern paper. So here are how my hearts turned out after the ink blending and I think it's so pretty. I love this stencil and I'm going to go ahead and just clean up my workstation real quick because I don't want to get ink over everything, um, especially white cardstock that I will be grabbing next. So this part is the slider that will create the pop-up-ness of our die cut of the pattern paper. I grabbed some white cardstock and trimmed this down to be A2 in size, so four and a quarter by five and a half, which is the same size as my die cut front of my card. Next, I'm going to grab the middle heart, and I feel like it's the perfect size for creating a little scene on my pop up card, and it also fits perfectly inside of my little embossing folder. So, I'm going to go ahead and die cut this heart out of some white cardstock, and then I will open up my embossing folder because this is surprisingly the first time I've used it, and I'm going to go ahead and emboss this using my little mini die cut machine. So the die cut machine comes with different plates. So I'm going to grab one clear plate and the embossing plate and sandwich my embossing folder in between the two. Here you can see how cute these little polka dots are embossed onto this white heart. Now that all of my different pieces are die cut and embossed, I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiments to my card. So I'm going to have a sentiment on the stenciled pink cardstock and on the white cardstock as well. So when you pull up my heart stenciled background, you'll see a sentiment when it's pulled up on the pink and then it reveals a sentiment with that slider part of this pop up. So I'm going to grab my Misty to help make sure I can line up exactly where I want my sentiments to go. So I know I want the I love Moo, which is so cute, on the inside. So I'm kind of guessing where I think the pop-up is going to end up going after the card receiver pulls it so I know where to stick my sentiment. 
So once I have a pretty good idea of where it needs to go, I'm just going to use my Misty's grid and make sure it's nice and centered. And then I'm using some brown ink to stamp my sentiments. So I have, I love Moo, this is so cute. And then I'm going to add in where my um, pink paper is gonna go. And again, you're gonna pull it to the top. So I wanna make sure that I leave plenty of room that you can actually see the sentiment when you pull it up and that it won't be covered by the little tab where the card receiver will pull up on this sliding part of the card. So again, I'm just going to make sure it's as centered as I possibly can get it. And then I will stamp holy cow in the brown ink as well. So my full sentiment will be holy cow, I love Moo. <laughs> I just think the stamp set is so cute. So now I have all my pieces and we can start putting this card together. So I grabbed my thick uh, foam tape. This is a three millimeter deep foam tape and I grabbed it in the five millimeter wide. So the thinner of the two different rolls of foam adhesive that Huffy Doodle offers. And I just want to make sure that I picked the right size and I have plenty of room to add this adhesive and I do. So I'm going to add three strips. So I'm adding it all the way to the left, all the way on the bottom and all the way to the right on this top piece. So this will be the part where it pops up as you could tell by the scoring on the pattern paper. So once I have all three sides with the adhesive, that's going to be the only thing um, adhering this top part to my white cardstock. But that's because we need to have plenty of room for that slider piece to be able to slide up and down to reveal the pop-up. So once I can make sure that everything is going to fit, I didn't put adhesive too far in any direction, I can attach the slider part to the pop-up. So that little tiny, about half of an inch piece of the center part is gonna get glued to the bottom edge of that stenciled pink paper. So I grab my little glue bert, added glue just to that little part of the panel, and then I'm going to line up the two edges together and then also make sure that my pink paper is centered. And then since it's wet glue, it just gives me a little bit of wiggle room there to make sure that the edges are lined up and that it is centered behind the front panel. I peeled off the release paper for the foam tape and then I'm going to line up that pattern paper to my white cardstock, making sure that my sentiment is on the correct side. So that way when I pull up the slider, you can see the I love moo and the holy cow also shows on the top. I'm going to add my heart to the front of the card and I want it to pop up along with the center uh, score line. So I'm just grabbing a pencil and I'm going to make a couple marks of where I need to glue. So this is the back of the heart. I flipped it over so that way I could add little pencil marks and know when to stop adding my wet glue from my glue burn. And I'm using Gloober again because it just gives me a little bit of wiggle room to make sure I have the heart lined up exactly how I want it on the front of the card uh, before it fully dries and it's too late to move it. So there you can see how the heart is going to pop up on the slider pop-up. Now I originally was going to use that uh, pattern paper cut out for the pull part of my card, but I wanted a little bit more contrast. So I did grab the um, die cut that has a little arrow and tab on the slimline pull tab dies because it is the same shape and size. So I'll go ahead and run that through my die cut machine with some white cardstock and I also embossed it with those polka dots so that way it would match the heart. Once that is done, I just punched out the little arrow and I'm actually going to keep the arrow and that little die cut pull tab part for another project. I went ahead and folded over on the score line of this little tab and then again using some wet glue to add glue to both the arrow side and the back side. I'm going to use a little clip to help me keep my um, pull tab fully inside the card and I'm going to glue the front so that way it would be centered and in the right spot in that little notch die cut. So I'm going to use my little clip again just to make sure there's some pressure while that dries and I'm going to zoom in here so we can do some coloring. I'm using Ohuhu alcohol markers and I have my caps on screen and I'm going to be coloring in some strawberry milk cows. I just thought this would be really cute for Valentine's Day. So I have three different shades of pink to create my strawberry milk, and I'll use these pinks as well on the hearts 
and I'm going to use the lightest shade that I'm using right here to color in the flower on my cow as well as the milk sign on my milk jug. So once I have all of my milks and hearts colored in, I'm going to move on from this color combination, but I just wanted to show you how I use those three colors together. Now my milk is in some glass bottles, so I grabbed a light blue color, and I'm just adding a little bit of detail to those glass milk bottles. For the milk jug, I wanted it to look like a tin milk jug or an aluminum milk jug, so I'm going to be using two shades of gray. So I'm just starting with the lightest here and adding a little bit of color, and then I will bring in the darkest to create the shadow, and then back to that light color to really blend it all out. And like I said earlier, I'm going to use that light pink to color in the milk sign as well as the flower on my cow. And I do grab a light yellow color to color in the center of the flower, but I left that out of this video because it was such a simple, small little flower to color. And I stamped everything in brown ink, so I'm going to be coloring my cows in brown ink as well. So once I finish up here with my little milk jug, I'm going to move on to the cows. So I'm just going to show one little part of the cow because it's the same color combination for both cows, but I have this dark brown and it is a little bit darker than the ink that I use. So I am making sure to color right up and almost on the line so that way there isn't this weird kind of two tones of brown. And then I will bring in my second color just to uh, bring out that shadow and create a nice mid-tone. And then I finally have a third color, which is really a nice light brown color. And I'm blending all of those together. And it's a little bit more on the yellow side, as you can see, the Y for yellow. And I thought that would match the brown ink that I use for the stamping best. So it really kind of creates nice unity between the colors of the markers in the ink itself. Now the rest of my cow is going to be white on his face, so I use that same light color to be the darkest part of the white, and then I'm just using a colorless blender to blend that out, and I just like this technique for when I'm mixing a dark color and white on a critter, so that way it feels like it's very consistent because it's the same shade of color. I'm using a nice dark brown to color in the hooves of my little cows and then I also grabbed a nice peachy pink color to color in the cheeks and the ears. So I'll go ahead and, oh and also the udder of my cow. I'm going to go ahead and peel those off my little plastic mat here, my little sticky mat, and now I can start working on how I want to assemble my card. So I'm just going to skip over the part where I am deciding on the layout and you know kind of moving things around. And once I'm happy with how my cows and milk bottles and hearts look, I'll go ahead and grab my glue bur and start gluing things down. So all of the hearts are glued directly to that white heart. I didn't glue anything to the top half of my card because I didn't want anything to get stuck when you pull the slider and create the pop-up. And then again, just using my jewel picker and wet glue to glue anything that's going to be adhered directly to the white heart. I'm also going to grab some foam adhesive for a few of my um, images. I use just what I have in my stash. It's a little bit thinner than the adhesive that I use from Heffy Doodle because this card is already going to be a little thick. I didn't want to add too much more thickness. So these are a little bit thinner foam adhesives. And I'm layering the bottles in all everywhere on the card. I have some behind the milk carton or the milk jug behind my cows as well as in front of my cows. I just wanted it to look like they just have a ton of strawberry milk uh, from these cute little cows. Once I have all of my images that I'm going to put on the front of the card glued down, I also am going to take one of my little strawberry milk bottles and I'm going to put it um, near the sentiment and that's going to help keep this pop-up card open when the card receiver wants to have it open. So using some glue burt, and I had a little too much so I'm just tapping off some of the glue and I'm going to adhere this next to the I Love Moo sentiment. So that way it creates a little bit of thickness in that area and it will become a little stopper for the slider pop-up part of the card. So here is a quick little you know, seed in action here, how it gets stuck onto the milk and then you can just lift it up and it will slide right back over.
I wanted to grab my enamel dots and just put a few around the card because I felt the front of the card looked a little empty. Um, the, most of the exciting part is on the heart and also when you slide up and see that really pretty stenciled pink paper. So I just added some tone on tone look enamel dots just to add a little bit more interest to the rest of the card. Here is a final look at how this cute little slider pop up with my strawberry milk cows turned out. Here is the adorable heart. When you lift it, you can see the holy cow sentiment and the I love moo sentiment. And then I'm going to go ahead and show how it just hooks onto that little milk carton or milk uh, glass of milk. And here is again a final look at how cute this card turned out. You can see the list of all of the items I used down in the description below, and you can see some close-up photos over on the Heffy Doodle blog. Use the links down below as well to see other inspiration on Heffy, Doodle, Heffy Doodle's social media, like their Facebook group, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and more. Thanks so much for joining me, and have a wonderful day.